Cracking the Fat Loss Code. Las Us Hinangin. I'm not going to restart this video. I'm going to keep that in there. Tangerine mango seltzer water. Good stuff. I like it. Guten Abend, mein Field Frasse. Ich hoffe alles ist gut. Man, I was doing some research. Got the notes in hand again about cracking the fat loss code. What a rabbit hole that is. You want to hear some bullshit? People have to make things so complicated. Check this out. <clears throat> Calculating BMI or BMR to lose fat. If you're a male, it is as follows. And before I read this, I will take the mathematical equation that you need to know what PEM does is. You know what that is, right? PMDAS in math. Google it. You'll do, you know, the parentheses and plus my or modification before division or vice versa and it's been a long time since I was in math class but Google and PEMDAS and I will put the actual equation right about there so that you can see it as I'm reading it and hopefully it'll make sense to you but check this out <coughs> take two calculate BMR to lose fat if you're a man 66 plus 6.23 times weight in pounds plus 12.7 times height in inches minus 6.8 times age in years. If you're a woman, 65 plus 6.23 times weight in pounds plus 12.7 times height in inches minus 6.8 times age in years. And the, if you do it correctly, the sum that you will get at the end of that is what your made of your your basal metabolic rate is basically what that means is whatever fat you got on your body let's say you weigh 200 pounds and your body requires for your activity level 2800 calories a day just to maintain 200 pounds but that doesn't tell the whole story oh no because I dug a little deeper. Like I said, I went down them rabbit holes. And it, everything's dependent. If you got fat on you, then you definitely have high insulin. If you have high insulin, then you definitely have higher estrogen. If you have high estrogen, then you definitely have low testosterone. And if you have low testosterone, you might have your thyroid all messed up. And if your thyroid's messed up, it's just a big circle. You can have high cortisol levels, the flight or flight hormone, the uh, inflammation in your body type hormone thing. If any of that stuff's out of whack, your metabolic rate, even though you may look like me, poor person, be the same height, same weight, same everything, you might lose fat at a different rate than I do. It might require more effort for me to lose the same amount of fat that you do. You might be a little bit more active than me, or I might be a little... You see where I'm going with this thing? It's all dependent on each individual's circumstances, what's going on in their life, exactly what hormones messed up where, and how long it's been messed up. Because the longer your hormones are messed up, the harder things are to re-regulate. Just to let you know, find that out too. So why do some people have good uh, results with things like this particular diet, like the Atkins diet back in the day, or the keto diet today, or the basic calories in versus calories out, it's always been what people thought was what it all boils down to, which isn't necessarily always true. It's because everybody's different. If you, if you don't have a gallbladder, trying to do keto, probably not going to be that easy. Why? 
because you have to have a gallbladder so, to secrete bile to digest the fats. You don't have a gallbladder, you're going to be in trouble if you try to do the keto diet. If you're doing the keto diet without the gallbladder, you can take ox bile supplement. Um, that takes the place of your body's natural bile. And if you don't have a gallbladder, just on the side note here, you probably should take ox bile. Because there's certain vitamins that are uh, fat soluble, but if you're not taking a supplement to supplement the bile that your body's not making, you can't utilize those vitamins. Your body can't uh, we do, suck them out of whatever it is that fat needs to be present for for them to do it. So you should probably take ox bile whether you do keto or not, but you still might have trouble with it. Um, you might have to do something a little different, maybe a little higher protein, a little lower fat, still cut out the carbs. There's some people that do fine on carbs, maybe not at the level that got them fat in the first place, but their body can utilize the carbs a lot better than somebody else. Some people can lose weight just fine without, you know, with just, uh, and I shouldn't say lose weight because there is a difference between losing weight and losing fat. You don't want to lose weight, you want to lose fat. You want to weight because you can lose weight by losing all your muscle and still have just as much fat as you did before or even more right makes sense makes sense but at any rate there's some people that do better not doing any exercise or any cardio or anything whether losing fat some people have to do that to stimulate their uh, metabolism to burn fat um, one thing one one good thing it's a uh, hit training high intensity inter interval training that's where you go all out for a time period, like 30 seconds or so. Take a 30 second rest. Let's say you sprint for 30 seconds, then walk back for 30 seconds, sprint 30 seconds, at high as fast as you can, as hard as you can, walk back for 30 seconds. You do that 10, 12 times. For whatever reason, that really stokes your metabolic uh, fat burner so that even when you're done working out, your metabolism runs at a higher rate than it normally does for longer. That works for some people. Some people have great results when they eat every other day. Some people have better results when they eat every other day, one meal a day. Some people have the best results eating every other day, one meal a day, OMAD, carnivore, meaning just meats with fat in it. Some people can get away with eating every day but one meal a day. So there's so many different aspects. You gotta find out what works for you. If you didn't gain fat to where you are overnight, you're not gonna lose it overnight. If you, like I said in one of the last videos, if you have 20,000, or if you have 20 extra pounds of fat on you, you have like 70,000 calories stored up in your body. So imagine how much you have if, if you're 50 pounds overweight. You know, we're talking a quarter million calories in the form of fat on your body waiting to be utilized. The trick is, is to get your body to, and your body's jealous. It wants to hold on to, to your body. Fat is gold. It's an evolutionary thing. I'm going to hold on to this fat because if the famine comes, I got food to feed myself so that this sucker can live long enough to propagate my genes further on down the line. That's what it's all about. It's about passing your genes along. Not your Levi's. I'm talking about your genome. But at any rate, uh, there's a couple channels I like to watch that uh, cover this stuff in greater detail. Dr. Eric Berg. I'll link him down at the bottom right about no actually I'll put him in the yeah I'll link him about right there and then Thomas DeLauer I'll link him about right up there right about now and I'll put links to their channels in the description below they discuss the different diets the different uh, uh, things about autophagy uh, DeLauer goes into lots of things with your hormones uh, Dr. Berg has all kinds of things and, and stuff about uh, just a whole potpourri about how you can figure out where who you are is the fat losing person that you want to be or need to be and how to figure out how your body works so that they so that you can get to cracking that code that big mathematical formula a lot quicker than trial and error 
Um, so those are some great resources. I'll, again, I'll post them up there. Uh, Thomas DeLauer, right there. And Dr. Berg, right there. And I'll put links to them in the <coughs> description box below. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I will write the part of this that I was going to do first and then do this video so that I can make a lot more sense because I you, you can read my uh, thoughts when they're cognitive and readable and not scattered all over the place like they tend to be in these videos. But that's about all I got for you guys. Hope you have an excellent night. Remember to always, always, always Halton Dizi Gumase Peace. I almost forgot. Please remember to go to www.thewickedwolverine.net. Got my blog there. I'm not trying to sell you anything. There's nothing for sale. Just information. It's a lot easier for me to write this stuff down so it makes sense and read it. And just makes me feel good. Gives me positive reinforcement. So if you'd be most kind to go over there, read the articles, drop a like, maybe sign you an email thing so you get notice whenever I post a new article or something. That'd be greatly appreciated. Alright? Thanks.